Radio, how to edge the learners. I'm Stephen Klein and these are the final moments before you sit down for your final engineering graphic and design paper. And I've been sharing you quite a lot of content over this year, but I believe there's still five things that I'd like to remind you just before you enter your finals. The first is, you need to read your questions almost loud and clear. You really need to read those questions and understand what is asked. Remember that in your paper, they are going to formulate questions in a certain way to get a certain answer. For instance, in mechanical assembly, they always ask the question, how many components makes up this mechanical assembly? They might ask how many different components make up this assembly. And you can see how these two differ. The one, they want you to count all the components in the assembly, and in the other one, just the different components. So make sure you read your questions carefully so that when you answer them, you answer what is required. Secondly, you need to double check whether a question specifies to be answered in millimeters or meters, especially when we get to civil analytics, there you ha will have to make those conversions. And also remember, in mechanical assembly, when they ask you to determine a measurement, it's not taking out your ruler and measuring, no, it is actually going and calculating, determining it, and make sure that if it's a radius or a diameter, that you put the correct symbol before that answer. Thirdly, please complete your drawings. Even if you get stuck, even if you realize halfway, yeah, I have put those two vanishing points in the incorrect place, or I made a mistake with my auxiliary view. In the finals, they will mark with your mistakes. In other words, if you've made a mistake with the vanishing points, they will then continue marking based on those mistakes. So please do not give up and don't say, I didn't have enough time. You finish each and every drawing, even if it is wrong, that includes your isometric and your mechanical assembly because with that even, they're going to give marks to each and every component. Even if the component's assembly isn't correct, they're going to check that I actually didn't draw that component. So make sure you get all of that on the paper. Do not waste time by looking at the ceiling. Okay, the second last is that you must please wash your instruments the night before. Make sure that your pencils are sharpened, your compass is ready, in working order, wash all the instruments, even your drawing board, even your rubber, and make sure that while you're drawing, as you rub out, you wipe off your sheet so that there's no smudges. It really helps to have a neat drawing that you have to assess for the examiner. And then lastly, I've said this a hundred times, draw, draw, draw. If you've drawn a lot of drawings up to now, thumbs up to you. If you maybe have thought you're going to get by by just watching these YouTube videos, I've got news for you. This would be the last one if I'm advising you. Get to the drawing board and draw, draw, draw as many drawings as possible. Why? Because it gives you confidence. And when you go sit down for that paper and you're in that uh, stressful environment, you can fall back on hours and hours of drawing and still draw with confidence. And hear me saying that while you're drawing and you get stuck, Fall back on the hours that you've drawn and remember, I told you to draw with confidence. When you're drawing with confidence, you can then also be successful. Okay, thank you so much for supporting me in this year and, and following me. I do appreciate it. I wish you guys all of the absolute best. Make sure you share this with your friends back in grade 11 and grade 10 uh, because you are going to go on to better things after this year. But it was a great journey with you. I champion you and I appreciate you. Please let me know how it went in these different papers. I'd love to hear back from you. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. I absolutely champion you to nail your final exams. Cheers!